Over the years, I've had a few backpacks, including this 15 inch messenger laptop spire bag, this piece of crap Ogeo motorcycle laptop bag, but I recently got this shapeshifter bag from a think tank and it's fantastic. Link below if you want to get one. And I always just toss it on my chair and I need a place to hang it up. So I'm going to show you how to make a holder for your backpack. If you want to win that Spire 15 inch messenger bag, hang out till the end of the video and I'll let you know how to do that. So let's go ahead, take a look at how to make a two x four backpack holder. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy and become a subscriber. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and then you hit the bell, hit the bell again so you get the little parentheses around it, that way you'll be notified every time I have a new video. Don't forget to check out the design and making merch below, hoodies, t-shirts, and stickers. Okay, I'm going to start out this project just like I would pretty much any other design project. I'm going to start by doing some sketches and figuring out exactly what it is that I want this object to do. And I want it to hold my backpack. I want it to be easy to take on and off. I need to screw it onto the wall. And I also want to have a little slot to hold a tablet or a cell phone. I'm going to start out with a basic 2x4. And it's going to be about 3 inches long. And so I'm just marking that off. And we'll cut that to size. And while I'm at it, for good measure, I'm going to make two of them. So you will see footage from the two units that I'm going to put together. One will be for the studio and one will be for the shop. This is a good time to use the dust mask with eye protection that I built in a previous video. You can check that out, link above. All right, let's lay out the uh, cuts onto the two by four cutting about an inch and a quarter uh, hole that's going to be for the thumb so that you can easily uh, put the bag on and off the holder comfortably and I'm just laying everything out uh, kind of eyeballing it uh, once that I've got the measurements down and this right here is the radius that the actual handle is going to rest on. Now I use a little waste block to uh, cut uh, and hold everything in place while I drill. Here I set the depth gauge on the drill press and I drill the bigger hole so that at the head of the screw can go in and we'll drill the thinner hole for the uh, threaded part of the screw after this. Uh, the drill bit's not quite long enough to go through on the drill press and I have to chuck it up in my hand drill and punch it through and it's still barely long enough and then uh, I push it through from the back side. Here we're going to mill out the uh, thumb area uh, so that you can easily grab the bag and I just do this on the uh, drill press with my cross slide vise and I machine that square to the uh, hole that I drilled so the tangent on the side there goes straight up uh, and that's pretty easy to do here with the uh, mill. So here I'm drilling the rest of the cross slots on the top. This is the uh, big wide slot for where the handle of the backpack actually goes. It's a lot wider than the one in the back uh, that is used to hold your mobile device. Now I felt the part was a little too flimsy based uh, on the fact that I had a hole drilled down the middle of it to mill out these slots on the side. So I'm going to do that on my bandsaw and just make a series of little relief cuts and then uh, remove that material. To get the rounded uh, dome shape uh, for the handle, I'm going to do this by hand. So I've clamped down my block and I'm taking a little handsaw here and I'm cutting the relief 
uh, on the corners. And then we're going to use a chisel to round that over nice. So this way we don't get any marks in the backpack uh, long term as it's hanging up. It's a nice smooth radius and we don't uh, mess up that material in the top of the backpack. And it also gives us a little bit of extra breathing room just for putting the backpack on and off of the holder. It makes it that much easier to take off. Now to smooth out the little radius part uh, for the handle there, I use a file. It's actually a metal file. It's not the correct file. I don't have a nice uh, square wood file, so I use that metal file. I'm going to take everything over to the belt sander, and we're going to kind of radius things off to make things a little bit more human, a little softer, so that your hands aren't uh, rubbing up against anything sharp. Here as well for the thumb area, take this over to the oscillating spindle sander and we'll radius off that edges, uh, the front edge there. Ideally, I think it would be done with a router, uh, but I don't want to get everything out, so I just did it by hand. I want to put on a little boiled linseed oil to bring out the grain on the wood. It makes it nice, gives it a little finish. And I'm just using a paper towel, and in here I use a brush to get down into the little edges and grooves and corners and stuff. Makes things a little bit easier. At this point, I realized that I probably need a little slot in case I want to run a cable up through this thing to charge a mobile device, and so I just sort of mill that in. I didn't want to drill a straight up hole, and this is a lot uh, nicer. Let's mount it on the wall. Uh, the unit is a little bit wider than a 2x4 is uh, when you build a wall, so only one of the screws in this case goes into the 2x4. But I think it's pretty important to note that, make sure if you build yourself something like this, that at least one of your screws goes into the structure inside your wall so it can support the bag. Alright, there it is mounted in my studio the other one gets mounted in the shop i don't bring it down into the shop a lot my backpack but occasionally i need to load up some gear from going on a little design adventure and that's a great addition to have to your shop now if you want to win that 15 inch spire bag i'm going to give it away to one of the next 100 new subscribers to my twitter page so leave a comment there and tweet at me to let me know that you're a new subscriber i look forward to all the comments and you can get a free bag if i pick you don't forget to subscribe to the channel you can do that by clicking on the icon in the bottom right of the video or below the video give it a thumbs up and follow the channel there as well want to know about upcoming design content and projects that I'm working on, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and my favorite Google Plus links below. Also, don't forget to check out all the design and making gear below. Rock on. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.